Second eaglet hatched today in a much watched bald eagle's nest at Cadora State Park in York County. Tempting as it may be, make sure you don't go near these little babies. Jeremiah Marshall joins us with that tonight. Jeremiah. Absolutely, Alicia. The Game Commission says you should never touch the nests or the hatchlings. If you do, you could be in some big trouble. This is the time when we start to see little eaglets in the nest. It's yeah, it's really exciting. Workers with the Eagle Camera live streaming company HD on tap say something like this hasn't happened in three years. Watching it from your home or office is great, but if you ever encounter an eagle's nest in real life. PA Game Commission suggests that you keep a distance of around a thousand feet from the nest and just use optics to view. Always remain quiet if you're close or you think you're close to an active eagle's nest. You know, with, with bald eagles in particular, yes, there are penalties that, that someone who encroaches an eagle nest uh, might face. These eagles live in the wild, so anything can happen. Predators can go after them or they can be pushed out of the nest too early. Even if it looks like the eaglets are in trouble, do not take matters into your own hands. Game Commission officers say you must keep your distance from an active nest and call them right away. That there have been times when the Game Commission is called that we're able to place that young eaglet back with its parents in, in the nest. So just stick to those live streams. They're free, safe, and you'll learn a lot too. And they're all within Pennsylvania for the public to enjoy. And it's really an amazing educational experience. And it just promotes conservation of the species and gets um, education out about proper protocol around wildlife. And penalties for interfering with an eagle's nest depend on how severe the case is. The birds are both protected by the State and Game Wildlife Code and Federal Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act. In the newsroom, Jeremiah Marshall, ABC 27 News.